Hey, this is Deepak here from digitaldeepak.com and in this video, I am going to take you through a tour of this blogging platform called Ghost, which I have started using recently. So it is ghost.org and a pretty good alternative to WordPress and it's a little bit of a premium alternative, but I feel it is worth the price and I have started using it completely and I'm even going to migrate my previous blog into Ghost. So when I first got started with Ghost, I started with this blog called Winner Take All and it's a brand new blog that I have established. So this is how the homepage looks for this particular theme. If you go read latest issue and you can see that the blog is kind of center aligned, uh, very clean layout and you can see the articles here. If I go inside archives, then you can see all the articles I have published previously. So if you want to open this article, you can see. Uh, the best part about Ghost is that the page load speed is extremely fast. So let's go to gtmetrics.com and let's not even take the home page. Let's take a long form page with a lot of images that are there. And let's go ahead and check what is the speed that um, is shown by GT metrics and what is the performance metrics, right? So it has a subscribe uh, modal inbuilt and if you want to subscribe to my blog, you can go enter your name and email ID here. There is a subscribe button here as well and it kind of shows uh, very well in mobile as well. So I can go to inspect element and click on this to show you how it looks on mobile. And you can see this is how it looks on mobile. The subscribe button is right here and it shows up like this. So I can go back to desktop and it's instantly responsive. So this is very, very good for SEO. And um, I also like to go ahead and send out my blog post as an email to all the people who are subscribed. So in the meantime, let's have a look at this. You can see um, performance 94%, structure 100%, uh, it's grade A in terms of page load speed and everything. So everything is optimized to the best extent and that is what the Ghost team has done. And here you can see I have 1,108 subscribers. If I go into the published section, you can see all the posts that I have published and what is the open rate for it. And you can see it's pretty good open rates, right? More than 35% consistently over a period of time uh, and that too at a volume of 1,000 plus. So uh, Ghost will only charge you based on the number of subscribers that you have and they will not charge you based on the traffic that you get. So if I go into settings, uh, you can see general design, navigation and all these settings. Uh, you can customize your email newsletter as well. If I go into Ghost Pro, so here you will be able to see I am right now on the 3000 member plan, uh, which means that whenever I send any uh, Whenever I publish a new blog post and email is sent to the entire subscriber base, Ghost will not allow you to use this like a CRM. You cannot just send a broadcast email to everyone. You have to publish a blog post. And if I go inside posts, here I can add a new post. And if I go into this particular section, so let's say test, test. And I like this, uh, you know, builder as well. Uh, pretty clean, pretty neat. You can put images here. Images get optimized to load fast. You can edit the permalink here. You can put some tags. You can put some metadata, Twitter card, Facebook card, you know, all those things. So whatever you add as a featured image, it will also show up in the social media shares when you are sharing it on, you know, um, Twitter or wherever. So here you can see, you know, all these blog posts are something that I have uh, kind of kept it as a draft, but I have not written it yet. And there are scheduled posts as well, which I have not. And then you have pages, contact, contribute about the site, privacy, you have tags, and then you can have a look at all the members that are in your database. So Ghost makes it easy to publish blog posts, but also send it to, uh, to your subscribers as a newsletter. And that is the advantage of Ghost over something like WordPress. Yes, WordPress has certain plugins, but I'm really tired of WordPress right now because they keep updating and then have, you have to keep updating your site. Every time you update, you have to take a backup. And sometimes there might be a problem with you know the backup and it might not restore properly. There are a lot of attacks on WordPress nowadays with a lot of malware, bloatware and things like that. So if you're not extremely careful, 
always keep your keeping your site updated to the latest version it's going to be pretty difficult to manage with wordpress and then you have to find a hosting separately for it you have to get managed wordpress hosting then you have to pay them separately so all that i am tired of so now i really like ghost and if you are serious about blogging i would recommend that you also shift to ghost and they have a way to migrate your wordpress blog into ghost as well so here you can see uh, if i go into pricing you can go with the starter plan which is $9 per month and if i go into monthly billing uh, it's $11 a month for 500 members so when i joined it was a little bit less it was $8 a month so i would recommend that you go for yearly billing and uh, just go with a simple plan with 500 members and once you cross 500 members you can you know think about upgrading so that would be $9 a month you know, you know so 9 into 12 one or eight dollars a year right and uh, that's about it for this particular video this is ghost and i hope you get, got a little bit of insights about what this ghost platform is thank you for watching this video if you need anything else from me and my channel let me know in the chat box and i will see you in the next video Bye bye